Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm gonna to answer some questions about my last video, and I also want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. I have three win winners, but first I'm gonna demonstrate something because this was asked of me. First thing I'm gonna do, I don't have any skincare on today. I have on mascara, navy eyeliner, and clear lip gloss. I don't have, I wanna show you, <laughs> this is like, what my skin looks like. It'll be a little bit red, but that's what my skin like, looks like without anything on it. No moisturizer, no hyaluronic acid, nothing on it. And if I have time, I'll tell you a funny story at the end about my dear friend, Pat. Okay, can you? I want you to see how dark I am in this area here. And I had some questions about the powder. Honestly, I can t use any powder. And this is the It Bye Bye foundation powder and I just take my finger and I go like that and I press it in here and then I rub it in but that's how I get rid of those dark areas without wearing concealer or any makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and get started okay the the question I had the most is do I cover my eyes when I use the LED red light therapy the comment from Omnilux and I've got it right here as for eye safety, all our devices have been tested and conform to all international safety standards, including eye safety, so eyewear is not required. However, we do offer optional eyewear for comfort for those who prefer it. If you look up red light therapy, LED therapy, masks, and ask the question, can red light therapy be harmful to my eyes? You will get pros and you will get cons. There will be people that will say, Yes, I mean, these are all legitimate places. Uh, it's good for your eyes, it's good for the glands around your eyes, but I feel real comfortable just wearing it like it is. I'm not, I am only an authority on one thing, and that is how I do something. It is not what how you should do it. But I feel comfortable. Sometimes I shut my eyes, sometimes I don't. I do have the goggles, but I have not felt the need to wear them. Do I continue to dermaro my face? Yes. I just happen to, on Saturday and Sunday, are the days that I do not use the red light therapy. And I've all, just to kind of keep it easy, because you know I'm a slacker and I gotta have things like on certain days. So on Sunday is when I dermaro. And I don't use the LED light therapy on Saturday or Sunday. So I just go ahead and use it on Monday. So there's, again, pros and cons about everything. I've asked for updates on my skincare. I thought long and hard about this. I watched my ones from 2021, my skincare, and I'll, I'll put cards here and I always link them below. But what I've done is I've gone through them. I do exactly the same things. There's a couple of things that have changed and I have just put it in the pinned comment on the top, what has changed. So I don't see any need to redo that. I think it would, I mean, I've made it, it's there and I thought it was good. So that's my skincare and my skincare extras. And in my extras, I will have added that I started using an LED mask on May 31st. And in those videos, they're timestamps. So if you're only interested in seeing how I derma roll my scalp or whatever, you can just go to that area. So I'm gonna put those below and then I'll put timestamps above here somewhere. And you know what? My skincare has not really changed much in the last seven or eight years. There's just been very few things that I have changed and I'm not a good YouTuber in that way because I'm gonna keep using what's, what's working for me until it quits working for me. Every time I film a video, I'm older than the last one. I got several questions on will I try the hand LED devices and these are from Omnilux and I bought my own and I paid $377 for it. And they have a glove that you can use on either hand and they have like a neck and decollete uh, LED and I don't think I'm gonna get it. What I've started doing, and I started it in May, mid-May, I've started derma rolling this area underneath my chin. I just wanna see if I can tighten that up. And I've done pretty well just using the 0.05 Retin-A one night and the Kakai oil the next night that my, I don't have really a bad neck yet. Uh, I probably should, but I, I'm not going to. I'm just doing this right now, and I want to see if I can help that. 
And who knows, if it doesn't work, I may buy one. I'm not, I'm not positive about it. I, I probably should, but I don't drink collagen. I bought it some time ago. It's still good. I've tried to get Jim to drink it, to add it. it I, I think Vital Proteins is what I purchased. And I know so many of you use them and you swear by them. But for some reason, I'm just, well, I'm a slacker. You know, what can I say? I, ha I don't do that. I, j I just haven't yet. I don't take hormone replacements. I don't, and I never have, I don't take collagen uh, supplements or multivitamins. I do take biotin, 5,000. I've been taking it for over 10 years. I'm just at the point that I'm afraid to quit it. <laughs> I don't think it's really done that much for me, but it's just, I do a tablet, a melt away. I've probably even taken it for about 12 years and my doctor knows that I take it because taking biotin can throw off some of your labs. I know it can throw off troponin and the thyroid, some of the thyroid tests, and there was, oh, vitamin D levels. So you need to make sure you tell your doctor that you're taking it in case you're high or low in those areas. Your healthcare provider would probably have you quit taking them for a while and retest, but I'm fine with them. I had several questions on what I put on before I put on the mask, and I don't do anything. I just make sure that's when I cleanse my face. I use, I like Purity Made Simple. I've used it for like 21 years, and it makes my skin feel clean. I just do it, do a single wash, and it makes my skin feel good. So I just cleanse my face, and then I apply it with no serums. Omnilux sells hydrogel masks, and they're three for $29 and they're one-time use. And they also have, it's the same price, or you may get one more for the neck and the decollete. And I just wanted to see what it will do with that. I'm not gonna ever buy those things. I know that, I would not spend that money. I would not, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I, I may look into serums or uh, black tea, but for right now, and at least for the next six months, I'm just gonna put it on a clean, dry face. I had a question about weight, and my weight has been the same up to, down to, right, you know, right the same for quite a few years. I think since I lost weight, I think that was in 2020 that I lost some weight, 2019 or 2020. But what happens is I have just a cell phone, and I have a table, and I have windows. In fact, I have this one behind me closed because it would be so bright. But I thought about buying, you know, lighting that it could, that, and a camera. But I'll tell you something. If I did that, I would feel like I needed to film YouTube videos. And I don't ever want to feel like I need to. I want to do it as long as I want to. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. But I probably have a list of 20 things I want to talk about at some point. So, But I, but I want to talk about them. So I'm still just going to do it like I'm doing it. When I'm, I, I'm gonna put some film up in one of them, I look heavier when I have the black on than I do in the first one, but it's just how far away I am from the camera. Also, the, what I'm wearing, one of them is like a soft plum and the other is black, and it does make a difference what you wear, how it reflects on your skin. So I, I think in the next one that I do, when I do the 16 weeks, I'm gonna wear black so I can compare it with that. I gave that top away, that plum top. After I wore it, I thought, well, I've got this color. I don't need that one. When I was going through my closet, getting ready to give some things away, so I gave that away. And I wish I would have thought about it because I would have liked to have worn the same. I would have liked to have worn the same thing. The one thing I wish I could do, and there's no way, I have examined my skin, and I'm not being critical of it. I mean, because, I. I to assess your skin, you've got to have a good tool. And for me, the best tool is the 15 times Floxite magnification mirror or the Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. I bought it in 2007. I still have it, but I only use it to assess my skin and to tweeze my eyebrows. That's it. The, and so I can see if there's little lines that have gotten better. I, I can see it and there's no way I can share that with you, but I would love to. If you really want to see if you have improvements, I recommend a good 15 times or 10 times. I've tried the 20 times and it is totally distorted. And sometimes, you know, you kind of have to be careful what brand you buy. So just read the reviews and see what is said. 
the easy one, here's a couple easy questions. Does my hair get stuck in the Velcro? It doesn't. What I do is I pull my hair back in a ponytail. And when I demonstrated on my video, I had my hair down, but I always just put it up. I have a silk scrunchie and it's right by my mask and I put my hair up and use it and it's not a problem. And the other thing I was asked if, if it scrunched my eyebrows down when I used it, well, I think it could if you didn't, don't have enough room in this area. This, you can change this, make this a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. But if it was tighter than this and I put it on, I could see where it could. So you wanna make sure that, that you're not pushing down any of your features, pushing your eyebrows down. And I haven't had to adjust this. I would imagine if my head was a lot bigger, I wouldn't, I've got a pretty big head, but it, it fits just fine. You know, I mentioned this was $377. I got a comment, and what happens, it shows up at the top of my screen. I can, I can only see a few words of it, but it was someone from Australia that said, in our currency, in Australia, this is like a $977, $950 mask. So it's a lot bigger purchase. It's a major purchase anyway, but in some countries, it's a lot more expensive. So I thought I'd share that. And I hope I can find that comment and see, and so I can reply to that person. But I'm sure there were some more questions, but those were the ones that I got the most of. But I wanna tell you my story about Pat real quick, because Pat's my dear friend that we've been, for, uh, we've been best friends since we were born. Our mothers were pregnant together and she passed away. It'll be two years in January and I miss her so much. But this is kind of a funny story. I think it is anyway. Pat was never into makeup. If she wanted to go someplace special, I gave her makeup or I did her makeup, but she, she never really was into it. And she was, she rode horses all the time and, and most of the time she didn't wear sunscreen. But oh, probably about once a year or so, she always called me Mimi. That's what most people call me that have known me for a long time. She goes, Mimi, what is that that you use on your skin that makes it kind of look, makes it look healthy and shiny? And I'd say, uh, it's skincare. She said, I said, you know, I use Retin-A. I told you, she, oh no, no. I just, I just want to buy that stuff that you put on your face. And I, you know, I wouldn't have any makeup on. And I'd say, Pat, you got to work to get that. Cause my skin used to be worse, but it always, it always made me laugh. Cause she'd say, no, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't. I just want that stuff you put on that makes your skin glow. And there are some things and I might do a video on that, but we'll see. Anyway, it's just a precious memory and I miss her so much. There's a channel I think you all would really enjoy. I was watching, I watch her videos all the time. Her name is Cheryl and her channel is the Free Range Diva. And she has lots of great information, but there was one she's doing, did that I thought, I need to be telling my viewers about that. I need to be telling my viewers, you know. One of the things she mentioned was, you know, when you wake up in the morning, sitting at the side of your bed, just kind of thinking for a minute before you get up and take off. So I'm not gonna tell you, there's other good tips she has. I'm gonna link her, that video below and just check out her channel. She has excellent information. She always makes me laugh and she's just a joy. I just wanted to share her with you. And I'm gonna announce the winners of my giveaway and it is a $75 e-gift card to anywhere I can buy an e-gift card or a $75 deposit in your PayPal account. So there's three people that are gonna win the $75. And the first person was V. Artman. Congratulations, V. The second person that came up was Dawn Wright. Congratulations, Dawn. And the last name that, that came up was Diane V. Congratulations, Diane. I, uh, just make sure you leave a, a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. I always use random comment picker and in the video that I did the giveaway, the only word you had to use in your sentence was clock. So I put all those in and had it choose only the people that use the word clock. Anyway, I don't know if you've been hearing the noise out here. We've had construction going on for over two months. And in fact, we live like right off a of main thoroughfare and we've been going down the alley the opposite way for two months and it's just been noisy and it is all good. Uh, that'll be completed before you know it. and. Uh, I appreciate you so much. I hope I answered your questions. Any questions you have, 
feel free to ask me, but I really want you to do your own research. It's very important. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to, and you know, every time of my nap, I bought some, I just have not, I bought it. It's not, it's still, he will probably have, your doctor, my face used to, it was, it was not made, made it. So I just thought that so far I haven't been. I would say that.